Welcome all to K and M podcast with Mike. Hello. And Kyle. Uh, unfortunately, Zach does not seem like he's feeling too well, so he is not going to be able to join us. So today we are going to do a NFL power ranking between Mike and I. We're going to do uh, an agreement of what team belongs in what ranking on tier list, uh, tiermaker.com. And so we're going to do... As you can tell, Gray's going to be the worst teams that they're not. There's no chance of them making the playoffs. They're going to probably be one of the worst teams ever, or worst teams. You have the six right there that they're not going to be a mediocre team, but they're not going to be the worst of the worst. And then you got pretty much the green, and the green is going to be the mediocre team. The orange is going to be the teams that are on the fringe of making the playoffs, but. Or like the, some of them will make like the playoffs, but they're not Super Bowl contenders. And then, of course, six through one are going to be the Super Bowl contenders. And so, starting at thirty, who do you think should probably be number thirty? Mm, let's see. Uh, from what I've gathered in the off season, uh, Miami's uh, already given up on this season. Yep, that's what I've uh, heard. They're tanking. Yep, we got. Uh, Fitzpatrick being their yeah, starting quarterback. With, uh, Josh Rosen. Josh so. Rosen, their defense is not that good. No, they've traded away a few players, I yep. guess, that are uh, pretty decent. And so, while well, Tannehill's no longer on the team, uh, where did he end up going? Do you oh, he's a backup for the Titans. Titans now. Yeah, he's so. a backup, so. so. He's been hurt so often. When he did come back, he didn't didn't play that but, well right, Tannehill. So they so. gave up on him. Yep. Uh, I can almost see that being number 30. Yeah, let's go ahead and put uh, Miami in there. I okay. think they've they're uh, they're trying even to be the thirty. Yep. Yeah. Okay. okay. Um, next. Who? There's some pretty bad teams. Uh, let's see. I, I think the Giants are going to be awful. Giants. Yeah, I'd say the I, Giants. I, I love the idea of Saquon Barkley. He's a, yeah. one, one of the best young co- running backs right. in the league, if not the best. I think, in my opinion. Mm-hmm. But overall, the whole team, you have, uh, oh, uh, oh, what's their wide receivers? Oh, Strong Shepard, and right. then that other wide receivers hurt. And yeah, they've got a lot of injuries. They've got suspended. Suspended. So, so I had a lot of, there's a OB, lot of injuries. The defense gone. is not going to be as good. I, uh, I can see yeah, them being let's a, put up there. Yep, yeah. 31. Okay. Okay, number 30. Who is going to be the third worst team? Uh, it's either probably the. I see the Jets are on there. They're pretty bad. Yeah, I think Sam Darnold's gonna have a good year. He'll be decent. Yeah, he'll be uh, decent. They have Le'Veon Bell now. Yeah, yeah, that's true. I forgot about that. They, they were pretty. They helped them a little bit. Um, let's see, Tampa Bay. I don't know much about Tampa Bay. I know they have Bruce Arians now. Yeah, they'll help them a little bit. And they got James Winston. He's been kind of yeah. hit and miss. He's up and down, yeah. Um, they have Le- that Levante David, who's a really good defender. So. Right. Um, how about the, uh, the Bengals? They, yeah, I was kind of thinking the Bengals a little bit. Bengals, because... Uh, they have Andy Dalton. And A.J. Green. A.J. Right? Green. But the, uh, A.J. Green's out for out two for weeks, while, yeah. so... Uh, Against the Bills, I the, the Bills, Josh yeah. Al- Josh yeah. Allen is awful. Yeah, he's, I forgot about the Bills. Yeah, yeah, he I guess he's not even really a quarterback. Yeah, he can't throw he's accurately. Mostly he's mostly running. Mostly yeah, running. Yeah, let's put Buffalo in there. Yeah, yeah let's put Buffalo there. That. Yeah, they're not, they're pretty bad. Okay. Uh, Number twenty nine. I think it's one of the teams that we just mentioned. I think they're one of the worst um, teams. Bengals. Bengals, the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Bears. What was the other team? The Jets. Uh, boy. Because Adam Gates, I don't think, is a good coach. No. He, he the, should be a head coach. He's, for the Jets? Yeah. Jets. Yeah, let's put the Jets in there. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I, he, he didn't do well with the, the Dolphins. I don't yeah, see why he I got another head coaching job, job for. Right. Okay. So probably either Tampa Bay. Or the Bengals. Bengals. Boy. There's also the Titans. They're, They're pretty mediocre pretty right now. Yeah. yeah. I think the defense is a lot better, so I think it's just between the Bengals or the, the Bucks. Bucks. Probably boy. 
I don't think either one will be. It wouldn't really matter, I guess. Yeah. So. Let's go with the Buc- uh, Bengals. Okay. And then we'll do the Bucks. Up there. Right. Okay. Number 26. All right. Like you said, Tennessee or the Jaguars. Yeah, Jaguars are going to be pretty, pretty abysmal. Rough, aren't they? Yeah. Yeah, so they have Leonard Fournette, and then they have Nick Foles starting. Nick so Foles, it's kinda, yeah. It's kind of uh, bad. So either Bengals or Titans. Or Jaguars and Titans? I'm sorry, Jaguars and Titans. Um, uh, what do you think about the 49ers? I think if they, they can have uh, Garoppolo stay healthy, yeah. I think it'll, they'll, be better, they'll, be yeah. they'll, be, they'll be better. So it's probably the Titans or the Jaguars, yeah. Let's go with Jaguars okay. at 26. And then we'll go with Titans, Titans at 25. Okay. Now we're starting to get a little bit better teams. Yep. Uh, we got the Bears, the 49ers. Oh, shoot. We need to go back. Go back. We need to put the Cardinals in there. We've got about the Cardinals. Yeah, that's true. Um, what team should we get? Move, move out. Team up a little bit. Yeah. Because uh, right now the Cardinals have Kyler Murray. And Fitzgerald. Yeah. He's getting close to the end of his career. Yep. They're... They're pretty bad. They're right there with the Bills and Jets. I don't think they're the bottom of the list, but they're... Probably. Yeah, I'm the same way. Um, what do you think? Move... God, are they better than the Jets or worse than... Probably worse than the Jets, don't you think? Yeah, I would think. So probably right above the Bills. And let's move everybody else one, one up one. Yeah, and then put them right underneath the Jets. Yeah, let's do that. Yeah, Cardinals. Yeah, yep. I forgot about them. They're pretty bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. okay, so where are we at now? What number are we in? We are on 23rd. 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 Okay. Okay, so we got Detroit. Cleveland. I don't know what this team is supposed to be. It's like all the team logos. So how many teams do we have left? We we're, got 24. We got... 24 through 30, yeah, yeah. so we got 7. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20, 22, 23. So, yeah, there's 23. I don't know what that, that thing is. That, yeah, that team is. <laughs> huh. Um, oh, Broncos. They're pretty bad. Yeah. yeah. Let's put the Broncos in there. I forgot how bad they're going to be. Yeah. They're yeah gonna... That might be kind of high for them, don't you think? Oh, well, their defense. The that defense Von Miller. Or... Like Von Miller. Yeah. Yeah, and but at the same time, just Flacco. only just saying Von Miller, it it doesn't, as a whole team, I can't, I don't know if I can have them that high. Right, maybe. maybe we ought to move them down. Yeah. Uh, let's see. We're used to the Broncos the way they used to be. Yeah. They're not. Let's move them down below. Let's move them here. Out right there. Yeah, move yeah. them up. Yep. This might be pushing it. Yeah, this is. They're going to be rough. I think I like them better the, than the Bengals. The Bengals. The Jets. Jets. Yeah, there's some pretty bad teams at the bottom. Yep. And they always have home field advantage. Too, yep. That home. Yep, going Broncos. to Denver. Yep. Yeah, so. Okay. Let's see. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, we got. I'm trying to look and see what team that is over on the far right. What is that? I think there's a bunch of teams, isn't it? Well, there's a bunch of teams. I'm just trying to think of what team it is. It is. Because we already have Titans, Jaguars, Buccaneers, not the... Broncos. We have the Raiders down there. Browns, Ravens, Steelers, 49ers, Cardinals, Seahawks, Rams, Giants, Cowboys, Redskins, what's that? Oh, Eagles. No, that's, yeah, I think it's just a list of all the teams. Let's see. Count them again. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve, fourteen, sixteen, eighteen, twenty, 
22, 23. We're at 20. We're at 23 through 30. Oh, yeah. So, so that's weird. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. They're really, no, that's not right. One, it's supposed two, to be 32 three, teams, aren't they? Five, six, seven, eight, eight nine, nine, ten. ten. Oh, wow. oh, okay, so that is, a, that's, a, this okay. one on the far right, I guess, is not anything like what right. you said. Okay. There's 22 teams, and there's 10 right there on this list. Okay, So 22, that makes 32. it 32. Okay. Okay. okay, we're good. So now we got to pick the next one. See, okay, let's look at this. 49ers, Chicago. Green Bay. Colts. Colts. Seahawks. Seahawks. Texans. Texans are iffy. In a way, they got Sean Watson and DeAndre Hopkins, though. Yep. And And J.J. Watt, of course, from defense. Yeah, they're not bad. I mean, okay. I think they'll be mediocre too. Yeah, Carolina's pretty bad. Carolina's pretty bad. Pretty bad. Eagles are going to be pretty decent. Vikings will be good. Patriots, of course. Yeah. Detroit, eh, shaky. Shaky. Matt Stafford. What do you and, think? Maybe uh, either that either or, or the... Texas. Uh, or the pa- Panthers. Panthers, too. So there's like three teams. Yeah. Uh, well, Redskins aren't exactly the big gangbusters either. Redskins. That's true. Uh, that, uh, what's his name? Haskins. Dwayne Haskins is their starting quarterback. Starting is a quarterback. Rookie? Yeah. Oh, God, that's pretty bad. Uh, so there's about four of those four teams. No, I think it might be that uh, Case Keenum Case is starting. Yeah, yeah, Still, either way. Yeah. Um, um, boy, so, okay, let's say this again. Uh, Texans, the Panthers, the Lions, or the, the Redskins. Redskins. Yeah. Boy, they're all about the same. Let's go with the Redskins at the bottom. bottom of the yeah, floor. that sounds good. Okay. Then we'll go. Let's see the Panthers, Texans, Texans or Red, uh, Lions. Pan- Panthers. Yeah. Panthers, Lions, or Texans. Yeah. Yeah, yeah you think? God, you think with, with well, to be honest, I almost want to put the Ravens. Oh, there. Ravens! I forgot about that. Lamar, Lamar Jackson, Jackson can't even a, throw. No, he's a running quarterback. Of all of their te- their defense is excellent because they have that Earl Thomas now. Yeah, and they're, that John Harbaugh is just one of the best defensive coaches yeah. ever. So yeah, oh, Lions, Texans, or Panthers for right now. I think. Yep. Lions, Texans, or Panthers. Lions are always mediocre, no matter what they do. Um, Let's put Lions. Lions, yeah. And then Panthers or Texans. I love Christian McCaffrey, but as a whole, the he can't do everything for the team. Yeah, right. let's go. Let's go with them, yeah, and then the Texans. Texans, okay. Now it's going to start getting interesting. Okay, yep. here we go. Ah, uh, let's see. Ravens. Yeah, Ravens. I forgot about them. Yeah, let's go Ravens. Okay, now we got Dallas. We got. Uh, All Raiders, they may not be too good. Yeah, I like Antonio Brown, but the dysfunction the t- of uh, the Raiders. The Raiders, yeah. Yeah, let's put the Raiders. Yeah, they're pretty dysfunctional. Yeah, they're pretty good to be up that high. Yep. Forty Niners, probably, maybe now, or Chicago. Uh, I don't like Trubisky that much. Yeah, so let's, to be let's that put them high, yeah. There. Forty Niners until we know about Garoppolo. Yep. For them to be that high, that's that's pretty good. And he makes a big difference. Yep. Okay, here we go. Uh, God. Oh, Browns. Yeah. Yeah, let's put the Browns. They're they're good to be better. Oh, they're going to be significantly better. I mean, look at them. They're already that high. And uh, Mayfield. Yep. Running Kareem Hunt. Kareem Hunt. Their defense is excellent. Miles Garrett. Yeah. So, they're going to be decent. Okay. So, see Falcons. Vikings. Oh, Cowboys. Yeah. I mean, Ezekiel doesn't come back. They're just going to hurt him. Yep. But. Their defense is exceptional. They yeah. got a young 
Demarcus Lawrence, and they yeah. got yeah that Sean Lee. They got yeah, another good linebacker. Yeah. Uh, Steelers really not improved that much. Well, but they're always that home field advantage thing. Yep. Falcons. Rams. They had two Rams logos. I just now noticed that. Oh wait a minute. That's kind of weird. How'd that happen? Uh, I'm 18. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Got the Cardinals, Falcons, Ravens, Buffalo Bills, Carolina Panthers, Chicago Bears, Cincinnati Bengals, mm-hmm. Browns, Cowboys, Broncos, Lions, Green Bay Packers, Texans, Colts. Oh, Jack- wait a minute. What? Yeah, there's no Colts. Oh, right. It's right here. Oh, yeah, you're right. Okay. No. Colts, Jaguars. Which we already have on here, right there. Jaguars, yeah. Chiefs. Right. Chargers, which right. did we have Chargers on here? Right there. Right there. Yep. Yeah. Rams. Which there's two of them two for some reason. Some reason. Dolphins. Uh, yeah, bottom. Yep. Okay. Vikings. We already have. Or right down there. Yep. Right. Oops. Let me click on that. It said Vikings, Patriots. Right. New Orleans. Right. Giants. Right, where he did them. Jets. Yeah. Right Raiders. Did. Yep. Yeah. Eagles. Steelers. Uh, right. Eagles, Steelers. 49ers. I think where he did them, didn't Yeah, right there. Yeah, they're there. Okay. Seahawks. Yep. Tampa, yeah, the Seahawks right there. Yeah, and Tampa Bay. Tampa right Bay there. Buccaneers, which we put right there. there. Tennessee Titans. I think we already did them. Yep. Oh, yep, Titans. Redskins. I guess there's two extra logos, I guess. This, oh. this is a pretty bad tier. Sorry about yeah. that, people. This, this is pretty bad. <laughs> okay. Anyways, let's get back okay. on track. Okay. Um. Boy, these are teams are all pretty decent. I just, right now the Steelers are up iffy, but uh, I mean of all the teams left, yeah, Cowboys are iffy, yeah, because of Ezekiel Zeke, Elliott yeah. being out. Yeah, I'd, I'd say it's either them or the well Falcons. <laughs> I'm a big Matt Ryan fan, and we got Julio Jones. Oh yeah, well and we got the running backs are decent. Yep, but they've fall apart, so I don't yeah. know to either the, probably the Falcons, or the... Yeah, let's put, then the, let's put Falcons. There, maybe yeah, well, then the Steelers. Steelers, yep. Okay. Yeah, I mean, they're still up there pretty high. Oh, yeah, 12, that's pretty yeah. incredible. Okay. Probably Packers. Or the Cowboys. I, I, I like, let's put Packers there because I don't like their yeah, defense at all. Right. All right. And I like the Cowboys, Cowboys defense. defense. Okay. Their, their defense is exceptional. Okay. Okay. Uh, we're, we're getting closer. Yeah. Okay. Boy, Eagles, Vikings, Saints, Seahawks. Let's go with Seahawks. Seahawks. Yeah, I'd say Seahawks. They're not, they've kind of fell yeah, kind down of fell a apart. little bit last yeah. year. Yeah. Okay. Uh, boy, this is tough. These are all pretty decent teams. Vikings, maybe. Yeah. Or Eagles. Yeah, they, let's Vikings. put Vikings. Probably Vikings. Yeah. 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 Kirk Cousins is not. Yeah, he's not that elite. No. About, now it's Eagles, maybe. Yeah, Eagles. All right. Yep. And then maybe the Rams. Boy. 
God, you think, you know, Gurley, if he can come back, yeah, healthy, they'll be yeah. tremendous. But of all I guess teams, he has what, a rise in his knee. Yeah, if he, of all the teams, I'd say, yeah, Eagles. Uh, not Eagles, but the Rams. Rams. Right. Okay, now we're up to number... Oops. Rams is at six. So they are top playoffs, but they're not uh, the top the, five. Right, top five. Here we go. Colts, the Chargers, the Saints, the Patriots, and the Chiefs. Chiefs. Boy, we sound like homers, I guess. But the Colts. Well, well let's let's just let's just be honest. The Patriots are going to be one. number one, right? Patriots They're number one. one. They they until deserve to be number Tom, one, right? Tom, they won a championship. Tom Brady He's until he there. retires or Belichick retires, they're going to be number one. Right. So now we have four teams to choose from. Uh, Saints, Chiefs, Chargers, and Colts. For the Chiefs to get that Tyron Matthew is pretty huge yeah. for their defense. Let's put them at two, probably. Two, yeah. yeah. Patrick Mahomes, they able to keep Tyreek Hill, yeah. even though he should have been suspended for yeah. abusing his kid. Right. But they, they, but they, they let him go. Yeah. They're still on the team, yep. still on the team. Three teams, Three teams left. left. The Chargers have been all... They've been really talked highly of. Oh, yeah. Past, their uh, their defense is incredible. Melvin Ingram, and, and Joey Rivers Burrow. Rivers is still hanging in there. Phil, Rar- Phil, Phil Rivers is hanging in there. Gordon, if he if he's asked for a trade. Yep. That's so going to harm a lot. If he leaves. But should we pretend like he's still on the team? Well, he's still on the team. Yeah, but for him... For, Let's just say, almost say that he's not even on the team because he might not even come back. He's yeah, he's sitting now. out. So let's put them at five. Okay. I think the Colts should go four. Four for Colts and then three for the Saints. Yeah. Yep. The Saints got robbed. They did. Oh, yeah, they, they should have really, gone to the Super Bowl yep. because they got a lot of that um, interference play. Yep. They should have been in. In the championship game. Oh yeah. Or was that the Super Bowl? That would have been the Super Bowl. Is that right? Super Bowl. Yeah. Yeah. So they would may have beat the uh, Patriots yep. too. So that's pretty good. Pretty good list of teams. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Pretty good. We uh, Colt Patriots at one. The Chiefs at two. The Saints at three. The Colts at four. Chargers at five. Rams at six. The Eagles at seven. Vikings at eight. Seahawks at nine. Cowboys at ten. The Packers at 11, Steelers at 12, Falcons at 13, 14 is the Browns, 15, 49ers, 16, Bears, 17, Raiders, 18, Ra- uh, Ravens, 19, the Texans, 20, the Panthers, 21, the Lions, 22, the Redskins, 23 is the Titans, 24, Jaguars, 25, the Buccaneers, 26, the Broncos, 27, uh, the Bengals, 28, Jets, 29, the Cardinals, 30th, the Bills, 31st, the Giants, 32, the uh, Dolphins. Yeah. Yeah. It'd be interesting to see how this turns out at the end of the season, how close we were to being... Of course, no. Well, this is based off of this rank, like right, yeah, right, ranking is, right now. It might yeah, be. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, be interesting to yeah. see how close we are to the rankings yep. at the end of the season. Yeah, because yeah. this is us saying possibly this might be the order for the end of season two. Yeah, yeah. Is so there a well, certain team that you can see possibly jumping towards the end of the season? Boy, those bottom ones, I can't see anybody really jumping. Not really. Out. Now the middle. Uh, got the Jaguars through. Yeah, the Jaguars through Titans. the Falcons. Oh man, yeah, they're all kind of. Sh- I, I think it's. I think uh, the Forty Niners. Is a oh yeah, Forty Niners. Oh yep. yeah, no doubt. Garoppolo and Rappolo. Kyle Shanahan. Yep, Garoppolo. They were looking pretty impressive. Yep. So if he, if he can come back full full force, and also oh, yeah. even the Browns. Yep, Browns. 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 Oh, if they yeah. get chemistry between him and uh, Odell Baker and Jarvis Landry. And Jarvis Landry. Yep. They got Cream Hunt coming back Cream in Hunt. week yep. eight, nine. So. Yep, and they also have that Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb. Yep, yeah, he rookie. was tremendous. Yep. 
and their defense is really good. So I can see. I didn't see these three or these two. Yes, moving up. Yep, moving up. Okay, let's. Um, the one team that has really been disappointed is Carolina. They made yep. the Super Bowl what three years ago? Yeah, three years ago against the Broncos. Broncos have got and slaughtered, they, and then they they have, haven't they haven't they fallen apart. I thought I, I think it's be. also it hurt, hurt has been hurting that Kim Newton has not been same since he's been hurt every year yeah. since he hurt his leg and now he's sh- shoulder. shoulder. Yeah, he's had, yeah, he's having so much injuries. Yeah, and when you're the quarterback, you have to have a healthy quarterback. Yeah, yep. it really has hurt him a lot. Yep, because. They're going to be right in the middle of medi- mediocre. Yeah, it's point. unfortunate because Chris McCaffrey is has been just, tremendous. Oh, yeah. yeah. He's an all-around great back, yeah. Houston, Houston's an sh- interesting team. you got Sean Watson and DeAndre Hopkins. Hopkins, yep. And Lamar Bell is not a bad running back. And you got uh, J.J. Watt and Clowney. Clowney, yep. Defense. So you would think they'd be better than what they are. Yep. I don't know. I think it's Bell O'Brien. It must be because they're just not as good as what they're it up and, you know, you know, I think if they, if they if they underachieve this year, especially, I think they'll be gone. Gone. Yeah, yeah it, you can't go can't, through. Yep. Every year. Every year. Uh, Raiders, we gave them up. We moved them up pretty high, seventeen. Yeah, the, I I think it's all about the dysfunction. I, I think yeah. if Derek Carr and Antonio Brown can have that chemistry mm-hmm. correctly, I think they'll be quite well. But I don't know how. Yeah. Well, what's going on with Antonio Brown? He's kind of. I'm thinking, who's their running backs? Uh, it was it was uh, Marshawn Lynch, but they. Yeah, I know gone. they have Doug Martin, but Doug Martin, and then they had that guy from uh, that I liked for a while. He's with Minnesota. Uh, oh, uh, uh, tall, oh, uh, t- t- Davis Murray. Back. Yeah, with Davis yeah. Murray. Oh, I liked him a lot yeah. too. Yeah, but they're still. They're still mediocre. Well, yeah. Be, they're, yeah, right in the middle. Right in the middle. Uh, Falcons are an underachieving team. Yeah, they oh, should, yes. They've got Julio Jones and Matt Ryan. Yep. Great running backs. Quinn Snyder's a great defensive coach. Yeah. He should be able to get the They back should on be better defense. than what yeah. they are. I don't know what happens to those guys. Uh, Pittsburgh's kind of falling off the map a little bit. Yep. They're having a, been having a rough. They had a rough year last year. Yep. Green Bay, still pretty much the same team. Yeah, same team. Yeah. Yeah. Rodgers and Randall Cobb. Oh, no, he's not there anymore. Oh, he's not even there? He's wow. on the uh, Cowboys he... now. Oh, wow. So, yep. Devontae Adams then. Yep. Yeah, they don't have a lot. No. Do they? they even <laughs> lost Ty Montgomery, the running back. Oh, yeah. So, I, I don't know what's going to happen with them. They with them. might be a little bit too high. Yeah. Their defense is not that good. They let go of uh, pretty much Aaron Mike Rogers McCarthy. Yep. we're doing this. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, they may be like eight and eight this next year. Yeah, right? mediocre. The average. Yeah, Cowboys are. Is that's all about Ezekiel Elliott? Yep. Yeah, See, they'd probably be in the top top five if it they, wasn't for Zeke. Zeke. Yep. Then you got Seahawks. That's Russell Wilson. Yep. Vikings. There we have them up pretty high. Yeah, but their defense is pretty pretty true, good, yeah. and then their wide receivers of Thielen and uh, yeah. Oh, uh, that Stefan Diggs, Diggs is pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Yep. They had a better, if Cousins can actually perform, Point. Yep. they'd be a pretty darn good team. Yeah. Eagles, Wentz is coming back, so that yep. helps them a lot. Yeah, for them to be up that high is still pretty exceptional. Yeah, pretty exceptional. Uh, Rams, they should be good again just because of their defense, Aaron Donald. Yeah. <laughs> That's like one of the yeah. reasons why they're up there is yeah. Aaron, Donald Aaron Donald and Cooper Cup. They yeah. let uh, Sue go. He's on. Uh, yeah. I don't know what team he went to. Uh, the uh, Dolphins. Dolphins again? Yep. He went back to the Dolphins? Yep. Went he on the Dolphins? No, no, he went to the Buccaneers. He went Buccaneers. to the Buccaneers. Oh, okay. He went to the Buccaneers. That's when they let Joe McCoy go, and he went to the Panthers. Panthers, yeah. Uh, but the... The Rams did get Clay Matthews for a year. Oh, they did? Yep. Oh, I didn't hear about that. Yep. Oh, that's pretty decent. Yep. Hopefully he can come through for him. Yep. Huh. Um, I'd like to see the Saints go to the Super Bowl against my our Colts. That'd be pretty cool. That'd be a good game. That'd be a good yeah, game. I'd like to see the Colts. We, we've done it before. When they, that's before. when Drew Brees won. Yeah. I but it'd be fun. Magic it's again for Andrew Luck to win a Super Bowl. Win a Super Bowl, come through. That'd be win pretty a cool. Super Bowl, I think. And that what I like about this is that it's not us really. Well, 
were a little, it shows a little bit of homers because I kind of would like or like the idea. Well, I think we are a little bit of homers because I think the Chargers should be a little bit ahead of the Colts because Andrew Luck has been hurt this past couple yeah. years and he's hurt again right now. Right, and he he tends to throw a lot of interceptions. Yeah, he throws it. Too much, and he should hold on to it more often. Yeah. yeah. And so, it's a little bit of a homer of us, but to put him at it's, four. But at the same time, right, they're close though. Yeah, they're so it. close yeah. to each other because the Colts have improved a lot. Oh yeah, their offensive line has been yep tremendous. Their yep, defense their defense is getting better. Darius Leonard. Darius Leonard. Yep. And I did hear good things about uh, yes, yeah, Sin or something. Rocky Sin. Yeah. Oh, great really ball good. hawk. Yep. Yeah. So we'll see. Uh, of course, you got Mahomes with the Kansas City. Yep. And he's, uh, they're saying maybe 60 touchdown passes. Oh, yeah. Time. And then, uh, of course, you got Brady with the number Patriots one. without Gronkowski. Yep. You'd think they'd fall down, but nope. they always hang Every there, year. No matter what. So. This, this should be interesting, though, because, like we just mentioned, is that Gronkowski's been with this team for so long that who knows if, because that was his. His, security blanket it that was. he was able to just throw yeah, right to him was. and he would go get there won't a first be that down. security blanket anymore nope. no. yeah I don't know who he's going to throw to as far as tight ends yeah re- his receivers are uh, the same I don't know who they are to be honest with you so, oh they have a, uh, that Julian Edelman Edelman oh yeah yep. he's going to be the yep. security blanket yep yeah. it's going to help that they do have that Dwayne Allen from the Colts yeah 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 He's going to have to try to... But it's sure hard to replace Gronk. Yeah. Really is Big hard. difference. Yeah. Future Hall so, of Famer. Yeah. It's going gonna, it's gonna to be it's gonna be exciting already talking about this. Yep. I'm looking forward to watching the Colts play. Yeah. It's going to be a fun fun season. Start yep. off the season with the Chargers right off the bat. Yep. First game of the season. Yep. That's tell, what I, Mike and I were talking about is that... Mel, like what you just mentioned also during this podcast is that Melvin Ingram is... Or not Melvin Ingram, but Melvin Gordon is asking for a trade. And yeah. And if he gets traded, you, uh, that's going to hurt the Chargers significantly. Oh, yeah. And that's, oh, yeah. That's a possibility that the Colts might be able to pull that out. Because they have a... Uh, their backup running back was a pretty decent kid, but he... Uh, oh, yeah, he fumbled uh, a lot? Fumbles or something. Yeah. yeah. He was, uh, runs right to the middle and he fumbled. I, I remember that. I can't remember his name, though, but... He's no Melvin Gordon, no. so this can really hurt him a lot. And all he's asking for is ten million dollars a year. Is that you what that? he's asking? Yeah, he's asking for ten million. It's like, pay wow. him. Wow, that's not that much. No, really. No, so he's actually making twenty million a year now. Oh yeah, the uh, like we said, Todd Gurley's making eighteen. Uh, eighteen. Eighteen. Zeke's asking for sixteen, so it's like, so yeah, like ten million. Ten million. That's right. What I think the NFL players are starting to see is what's going on with that. NBA. Oh yeah, they're seeing all this money being yep. thrown around by and, these owners. And the thing is, is that I I have been thinking about this a lot. Is that there's pros and cons to these contracts? Is that yes, the players should r- write it out with their rookie contract right. because they haven't proven themselves to get that big contract. Mm-hmm. But all of a sudden they get hurt. Yeah, and they're out with that contract. That's right. They don't get that. Actually, you know, already got that big, any kind of yep. money, big yep. money. So you got to get it when you have a chance. Yep. Because this is a totally different thing than, oh, yeah. than basketball. Oh, They're yeah. constantly hurting one really another. Rather does a basketball player get well? Durant, Old Depot guys. They run, run a lot. Season. Yep. They jump. Yep. They run, but they don't get hit. No. Nothing like these football players yep. do. Uh, Miles Turner had that concussion. He was out for like month. A month, and these. Football, football players, players come back in a week. I know. I have a concussion. I know. So, basketball players have it kind of nice. If oh, you yeah. Think about it. Yep. They're making $40 it, million, dollars, yep. $30 million. 30, 20, 20, 20, 20 to $40 million a year. year. Yeah. And the thing is that the NFL, you're not guaranteed that contract. I know. For the most part, it, they're what, finally what, now. The, what they do is they, uh, like, let's say they do a four year, $48 million. Right. And Bowling. thirty of it's guaranteed money, in the, so that's eighteen million, million for that, four years. That it 
they're not guaranteed that money. Right. So the NFL, so, they do it where there's guaranteed money, and then the NBA, so once you sign that contract, you're, all you're guaranteed. guaranteed. Right, right. Big so, difference. Because, like, look at Josh Smith uh, from the uh, Pistons. Uh, when he was on the Pistons, he signed, like, a four-year, $48 million contract. Yeah. It was a awful contract. They released him. They're still paying him that contract. Right. That's twelve million. They didn't have. They, to, they, they didn't, didn't have for this year. Right. For this off season. So. It, so guaranteed contracts in basketball are totally different. Oh yeah, totally different. Yeah. Damian Lillard, four year, hundred ninety six million dollars. He's guaranteed that for that next four years. See, wow. they could release him next, like next week, it's and so they still pay him that. John four, Wall. John Wall. John Wall's a perfect example. Yep. He's getting thirty five million a year. Yep. And this he year. He hasn't played in no. a couple of years. Yeah. Yep. So he'll keep being paid. Yep, getting paid. And poor football it, players. Yep, nothing. It, they, oh they yeah, get hardly anything. Like, and what's really bad about the NFL is that, like, with the like NFL, there's 22 players that you uh, have to play. Right. Whereas the NBA, you have fi- yeah, 15, 15. Right. And the NBA, you're. Your bench player, like your twelfth man, is making three million dollars. Yeah, poor linemen are making million. Yeah, at a the year. Mo- yeah, yeah, at the most. Yeah, it's amazing yep. what the difference is. Yeah, often you get beat up, yep. hit, cut, bashed, concussions. Yep, and you only make what the fifteenth guy does make in the NBA yep. on the bench. Yeah, uh, football players are kind of screwed. Yeah, they really are, and yep. I, they, and the owners are making. Oh, billions of dollars. Billions. Yeah, it's kind of sad state of affairs, isn't it? I mean, even Brady has never gotten paid what he should. Oh, have oh paid. no, he's making ten million, million. Or ten or fifteen. Well, uh, well, actually, while we're ready, we'll, we'll look it up. But yeah, the Brady has never made, made what he should have been making. Right. I mean, Peyton his own Manning career. Did, uh, um, some, some of these two year forty one million. So he's actually finally getting paid. That's decent. A little bit more. Twenty. That's million. not too. But look bad. what Aaron Rodgers is getting paid. Oh my God! We'll look up here in a minute. Okay. When, when did this report? You know, Ian. Did you really sign that just today? Maybe it was today. Let's see. No, he's only making fourteen million. Wow. Okay. I guess they're talking of doing that contract well, two year forty million. So if I actually get paid rather well, right? With, with that with contract, look at all those previous years. Yeah, fourteen million, million this upcoming year. He's gonna make fourteen million only. And look at Aaron Rodgers. Yep. Oh, Aaron Rodgers is just ridiculous. Aaron Rodgers. Uh, there's a few other guys that signed big contracts. Uh. Nice. Oh, who was? Oh, I know uh, Kirk Cousins is just ridiculous yeah, too. Kirk Cousins. Yeah. Five year, one hundred and ten million. million. Nineteen million, and then he's gonna make twenty million this year in twenty nineteen. Four year, one hundred thirty oh, four million, million is what he's getting. Oh, okay, there we go. Yeah. Right here. Twenty base salary. Oh, here we go. Well. Cap hit. He's making thirty three million on the or thirty twenty six million this year and then thirty two million I guess. And then maybe thirty three million. I guess. Well actually right here you have he made uh Oh my goodness, I don't Well it's hard to Average salary up there at the top, right in the red, go over to the right, right in the middle. I'm sorry, average salary. 30, oh, average salary thirty three million. Million. See, so you're looking at that thirty three million, and here's Tom Brady, Brady making twenty. Well, he may make twenty. May make twenty. Yeah. He's, so, right now he's making only eleven. <laughs> or fourteen. Fourteen. See, so the players in the see. Tom Brady, in a way, in a way, and I'm not trying to rip into him, but he's he's kind of hurt 
the other NFL players by not taking more money. Yeah. Because they're saying, now, wait a minute, Tom Brady, the owners are thinking, well, hey, Tom Brady's not making this. Why, 14, why should I pay you? Yeah, he's the best But at the same time, of course, look, he's doing it on purpose. Yeah. So he can get better players around him. Not, right? not only that, but the NFL teams are noticing what kind of shitty quarterbacks that are, okay. are like. Right. Ryan Fitzpatrick, he's probably only making like one million dollars yeah. this year, and they're like, like, well, Andrew looks like, oh shit, well, yeah, if he's making this, I'm gonna want to make this much right. more money, right? And like what you just mentioned, we just talked about with Melvin Gordon is that he, he wants to make that money now because of injuries. Well, he gets hurt. He's so. a running back. Yep. he gets hurt. He yep. tears knee up yep. tomorrow. Yeah, and he's done for the rest of his, his career We're, because yeah. quarterback or running backs. Their lifespan is from their rookie year to like thirty at the yeah, most. Right, and that's when start it starts going, to decline yeah, significantly. So. so they got to get their money while they have a chance. Yep. Yeah, I, I, you know, Brady's made a lot of money over a lot of years, but nothing what he could have made. Oh for yeah, twenty five million a year yep. for the last. The thing years. is that he, his wife is so a much model, money, so yes. much money. He's also making money as uh, being a model. So right. Yeah. He ha- he's making money outside of it, but he could have made he could have been a billionaire. Yeah, right. Let's just say that. Right. So he's not he's not a billionaire, but no. he, he could have been. Right. But I think he chose to have less contracts so he could get, he, get, he get more money to yep, the, rest the other of the players. players. Yep. Get better players. Yep. And surprising thing is he hasn't had the great, great players. players around him. No. Gronk. Uh, and then so, the players yeah. that he did have, they were the end of their careers. Randy, right. Randy, Randy, Randy Moss, Moss. Yeah. Chad Ochocinco, yeah. Terrell Owens. They were yeah. the end of their careers. Right. So. so he hasn't really ever had top of the line no. players that... No. Except for Gronk. Yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. yeah and was Walker, actually. Walker. Walker was like his last yeah. wide receiver that he had was right. amazing. I mean, think about some of his running backs, James White. Oh, my God. None uh, of them. What like um, who? Look there, Blunt. Uh, Garrett Blunt, yeah. Uh, who was their running back like his rookie year? Like who? I don't even know who their young running backs. You. Yeah. yeah, I couldn't tell you. Yeah, they He's they never, had, never had, had, had a great running back. No, somebody that's like top of the line. Yeah, like they he's guaranteed every single the workload kind of running back. Right. He, there's always been that running back by committee. Yeah, yeah. Yep. Three running backs. Yep. That's what uh, Belichick likes to do. Oh, yeah. Three running backs. You play this amount of snaps, we'll have this person running the ball in the t- yeah. the end zone, and then the other one will come in and do a little bit of this and that. Yeah. So. And it's funny because they've always been, like, a number one. They've won six Super Bowls. Yep. So you think the other teams would copy kind of what they do. Oh, yeah. But they, what they end up doing is they try to sign these big-time players that yep. will get them over the hump, and then they fall. Yep. Fall down, so I don't know. Their their method's been very helpful, it's, very work. It's, work. it's interesting how the Rams are doing the one year deals. Like they signed Sue to that one year uh, deal. Yeah, they let him go. They did. They're doing that with Clay Matthews. They're doing like one year deals with like all these superstar players, but they're paying them tremendous money. Yeah. And so like it's hasn't it gone to the Super Bowl, but right. they haven't. Quick enough for chemistry well, it's hard. to make. Yeah, it's hard to only yeah. have a player for one year. Yeah. How do you click when you yep. only have them for one year? You yep. gotta have them for at least two or three years. Yep. Yeah, because the quarterback can't work with the guy that's going to be there yeah. for one year. Yep. The defensive coach can yep. work with. So I kind of like, and I sound like a homer, I kind of like what the Chargers, Chargers Colts are doing because they're working on their offensive line and defensive, defensive line, line. Yep. And they're signing these no rookies. Yep. They're young guys, but they're really good players. Yep. And they're they're not having to pay out a ton no. of money to no. these free agents. Yep. In fact, they hardly spent any money this past yeah, year. Yeah, the dr- Justin Punches, Houston was our probably f- Punches, Punches and Houston. Houston. Uh, Justin Houston. Yep. Yeah, and so they're just, uh, they're not spending. No. They're just working on rookies. And yep, that's why I remember listening to that, uh, oh, Dan Dockage said that. He said that. Uh, Chris Ballard uh-huh. said that he's not the salary cap does not mean anything that he that they're just working on the ba- rookies based yeah. on the uh, right building up a roster yep. that's uh, young and and good players are yep. not trying to do it through no. free agency no 
That's the thing that her and us with Brian Grigson. He yeah. was like, hey, let's go get all the Eagles players that are at the end of their yeah. career he tried and bring to, them over here. He tried to do it with uh, uh, free agency. Yep. Very Frank rare. Gore, Andre Johnson. Johnson. Yeah. It was like glory days. Yep. Trying to go with their, what they, and Frank Gore was a good player. Don't worry, he was a decent player. Exceptional player. player. But he's, he isn't uh, well, well, it's more he about Andre career. Johnson. And Andre Johnson, definitely at the end of it. He wasn't yeah. playing worth the crowd. No. So it's better to have, I'd rather have guys that are coming up through the ranks and they're, T.Y. Hilton now is the big veteran on the team. Yeah. He's a young guy. Out. Yep. So that's He's like my they're, age, yeah. Yeah, they're, they're working from young players. Yeah. And I like that. I yep, like I that do too. Yeah, I mean, Andrew Luck's a veteran now. Yep. To, and he's young. Yep. So some of the, it's really good. I like that. Uh, I like, I really, the Patriot way is a good way of doing it. Uh, Belichick's about the only coach that can get away with it, though, where he, he just cuts you if he doesn't yep. like what you're doing. Yep. He doesn't. That's what his, I was listening his to. Loyalty, his loyalty is very lacking. Yep. He doesn't have a lot of loyalty. And that's what Dane Doctors was talking about. Uh, I was driving up to Greenwood, and uh, that's what he was talking about, is that he noticed, well, Belichick notices that when there's a player that if they're starting to give a little bit of an yep. ego, yep. and they, he knows that they're going to want a contract extension, yep. you're gone, you, yep. you're out of here. Because he doesn't want to have to go through that whole no. thing. Thing of trying to sign a guy no, that's he's too old and he'd rather right. get a guy that's uh, young and he can mold into his kind of player. Yep. He doesn't like egos. No, he, in fact, no. he hates it. Yep, he still yells at Brady because oh yeah, even though Brady's forty two years old, he yeah, still yells at him because he doesn't want but, anybody to have a big ego. Yep, it's nobody has a big ego. All that team. team, nobody has big ego. No, they start talking, he shuts them up. Yep, James, him. look at James White. He missed. Uh, uh, what, what, curfew? Yeah, he missed curfew yeah. one time and the, got benched and didn't play for like six games. Yeah, like that. yeah, he doesn't uh, let him mess around. No, goof around. Uh, I think I'm thinking at the end of this month uh-huh. we'll do uh, another power rankings. Okay. Well, actually, the actually not power rankings, but we'll just come in and talk about more NFL and then. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm thinking at the end of September we'll do a, uh, what happened was my footage for the NBA the NBA power rings that we did uh-huh. with Zach it got corrupted oh so we had to do, we had to do the re, re, redo the power rankings okay. again so we'll do okay. that and we'll talk in a okay. NBA and then sounds come good. October we'll have NBA back and be yeah. looking pretty good 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 that sounds fine to me yep and then also next time, hopefully Zach will be feeling better. Next time we do a power ranking, we'll do a live stream of it where we're going to be okay. live on YouTube. Okay. Right now we did a uh, uh, a recording, mm-hmm. but like what you saw me earlier, whenever I was like yeah. waving at the camera, that was me live. Okay. And next time we'll do it live, and we might have some people come on, and they might ask some questions. And oh, okay. Because right now it I'm going. Upload it onto YouTube, right. and people will ask questions on the comments. But, but they might go on live, and somebody okay. be like, "Hey, what about this team or that team?" Yeah, have a discussion. Discussion. Oh, that's fine yeah. with me. That sounds fun. Yeah. Yeah, we we'll get a fan on here that likes the some other team. Some other team, talk. maybe the uh, Green Bay Packers, or maybe the Panthers. They might go yeah. and be like, "Hey, what do you think about uh, this player or that player yeah, on this certain team?" And we can talk to them. Sure. It's going to be pretty cool. That sounds good. That's that's the plan is that for now on when we do a power ranking out or Try just do, do, a, a, do it live and okay. have people come on and they can ask questions or they can say, well, oh, this team should have been higher than this team yeah, and we can tell them why we did sure. it. That so, sounds fine to me. Yeah. Sounds good. Cool. With that being said, guys, we're going to end this video right here and we'll see you guys later.